Hello and welcome everyone. This is Elena. In this video, I will show you how to reset circadian rhythms to restore good night's sleep, get more energy and in general optimize your health. But first, please consider getting on my mailing list by clicking the link below in the description and receiving my free guide, which is essentially um, blueprint for the optimal health. And also please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel to help it grow. So what is circadian reasons and why it's so important for our health? The truth is that on biological level, all living beings are tied to the rise and fall of our sun. We literally have a special biological clock built in our brain that controls and regulates all kinds of physiological processes by releasing all kinds of neurotransmitters and hormones, hormones in response um, to the 24-hour cycle of light and darkness. There is a large body of research clearly shown that disrupted circadian rhythms is a primary factor not only in regulation of our sleep cycle, but also in overall health, happiness of our life, and body composition, not to mention energy levels, right? And the same research unfortunately clearly shows that uh, every single one of us in the modern world unknowingly is living with uh, disrupted circadian rhythms which translates in the epidemics of uh, insomnia, poor sleep, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, depression, anxiety, um, daytime sleepiness. There's a strong indication that uh, disrupted circadian rhythms also increase significantly risk of cardiovascular disease, cancer, metabolic disorder, neurodegenerative disease, and many, many more nasty outcomes. So how can we fix circadian rhythm? It's not that difficult, actually. All we need to do is increase our exposure to the sunlight in the morning and decrease exposure to the blue light from the uh, artificial lighting and electronic devices in the afternoon. Um, rule number one, get a bright light in the morning. It's especially important to get sunlight during 30 minutes after waking up. That signals the brain that it's time to get alert, wake, and energetic. Ideally, we should go out outdoors to get the sunlight. But if you have to wake before the sunrise or live in a place with perennial overcast, we should get special bright white light therapeutic device such as uh, one people used uh, for treatment of SAD, seasonal affective disorder. Obviously, it's not as good as a natural sun, but it's better than nothing. And by the way, <laughs> natural sun has such a profound healing abilities. I made a special um, video about sunlight and its benefits for health, so please visit it to remind yourself what we're missing out. Rule number two, get your electronic devices off and out of your bedroom. I know it's a lot to ask, but at the very least, put them on the airplane mode to decrease EMF exposure. And turn off Wi-Fi as well for the same reason. <laughs> Rule number three, get blue-green blocking glasses. This is especially handy if the idea, <laughs> if the idea of getting rid of uh, electronic devices is unthinkable and it's not an option at all. So what these blue-green glasses are, unlike regular computer glasses that block only blue light, they also block green light, which is apparently inhibits melatonin production as well as uh, blue light. 
So, by wearing these special glasses, which look kind of weird, they have a reddish, orange reddish lenses, unlike um, computer glasses, which are more like yellow. So, these glasses basically mimic darkness. That means that we can uh, watch TV, work on the computers, uh, surfing on the smartphones, with the indoor lighting, all we all we want, and we still, um, our brain will perceive all of this as a complete darkness. Isn't it wonderful technology? These glasses are more expensive than regular computer glasses, but it's uh, very worth it because people who wear them experience sometimes the very first time they uh, of using these glasses, they experience. Uh, falling asleep much faster and ha and sleeping much deeper and getting much more energy the very next day so uh the best brands on the market are from the companies called safety blue and uh, true dark i will leave the uh, links uh, in the description below this video for your information uh, number four sleep in a complete darkness if you can see your hand in front of your face that means it's too much of the light in the room and that will affect your brain and the production of melatonin and we need all melatonin we need we can get for the proper sleep and the right levels of energy also if you can avoid using overhead lights after the sunset instead use uh, side lamps with yellow or orange bulbs to mimic low sun that, that could also help with the uh, correcting and uh, resetting circadian rhythms number five is uh, interesting it says optimize your feeding window to amplify autophagy and what the heck is autophagy it's a special cellular process that our body uses to get rid of the old damage and dysfunctional cells basically house cleaning mechanism it's extremely important and it's uh, directly linked to the circadian reasons why because autophagy happens only during the uh, night time night sleeping so how can we help this process to function properly by avoiding uh, midnight snacks and ideally, the last meal should be around 6 p.m. To, to respect and honor our natural rhythms and get, the, get our digestive system a chance to recuperate and autophagy to, to happen fully. That means that our feeding, uh, fe feeding window should be around, well, no more than 10 hours, ideally 12. And finally, there is certain substances that uh, severely impair the most restorative and rejuvenating phase of our sleeping cycle, which is REM or rapid eye movement. And these substances are certain antidepressants, alcohol, caffeine, obviously, benzoids, um, opioids, and cannabis sorry guys it's just what it is so that's all for now thanks for watching and uh, be well